Let's break down Aerosmith's Last Child. Song's in the key of E. Uh, studio uh, recording is a half step lower, so they've tuned down a half step, but for convenience for most of us in standard tuning all the time, I'm going to just keep it here in standard tuning. Let's look at the introduction. three grips. The first one is kind of an A minor grip, moved up the neck to D and G7, B6. And we're going to strum down and, and back. Hitting the D string twice when we come back down. We're going to move to the next position. D, 7G, 8B string with the open E string. Last position is seventh fret G, ninth fret D, and B string. Again, the open E string. And then for the last, just gonna slide that up twice. So, um, sort of the uh, picking pattern rule that I uh, think helps me on this is um, the first chord, pick down and back, and then we always hit the D string twice uh, when we come back down. the whole riff. Second fret, fourth fret, and fifth fret. I'm getting my E note here on the second fret of the D string. You can get the E note here on the seventh fret of the A string. Kind of play the whole riff on one string. everyone feels better to you. A um, couple things I might do on that riff to add some interest to it, especially if I were playing it live. And the studio track is pretty clean. Pretty much the whole way through to my ear. But one thing I might do is put a little pull off in there. Is to sort of modify it. But again, the studio version is pretty straightforward and you want to stick, I think, fairly true to that. Okay, the next little phrase is um, uh, all on the D string and the A string. fretting is on the D string. 5 to 7, hitting the A as a drone. 4 to 5, 2 to 4, open 2. Then a quick 4th fret D and then repeat it over. And the 
next phrase. <laughs> I'm going to play it here on the B string, 7 and 8, and then 9 and 7 of the D string, or G string, sorry. That's over a D chord. Next phrase is really similar. G string, 6 and 7, 9 and 7 of D string, 5 of D, and then back to the riff. All together, again, it's, it's a D chord to an A chord. So it's going to sound like this together. the riff. Really the only other part of the song is uh, during the guitar solo uh, there's a kind of a change in phrase. Really these same notes So we're going to hit the low E string first and then five Fifth fret A, fourth fret A, second fret A, bend on the third fret E, and then open E. So open E. Finish up here on the D string, second, open, back to second. Slow motion. phrase of the song. So those are um, all the phrases that I uh, use in that great song, Last Child. And I think you can add it to your list really quickly. And what a uh, fun song to play. And uh, enjoy rocking it out. Thanks for watching.